President Trump on Saturday proposed a much-anticipated compromise to end the government shutdown, but many Democrats have already rejected it. In a fairly mannered and statesmanlike address to the nation, Trump laid out the problems at the U.S. border with Mexico while extending an olive branch to liberals. Offering to extend the controversial DACA program for undocumented immigrants who were brought here to the country by their parents, he urged Democrats to work with him to find a bipartisan solution to the ongoing government funding situation. Trump announced that he was prepared to back a three-year extension of protections for 700,000 immigrants who came to the country illegally as children and were sheltered from deportation under the Obama-era Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA program. But before Trump had even appeared on TV to deliver his proposal, key Democrats were declaring that they wouldn't accept the president's compromise, essentially tossing his olive branch out the window. House Speaker Nancy Panomi Bread came out ahead of the announcement to say that anticipated proposal compromised a compilation of several previously rejected initiatives, each of which is unacceptable and in total do not represent a good faith effort to restore certainty to people's lives. It is unlikely that any of these propositions alone would pass the House, and taken together, they are a non-starter, Nancy declared. However, as a Speaker of the House, she would likely be able to rally Democrat support for the compromise if she tried. It seems that liberal leader isn't willing to give up a single inch of ground on the issue. Democrat Senator Dick Durbin sent a similar message rejecting Trump's offer even before he had appeared on television, and bluntly rejecting the president's offer for a bipartisan solution. While public opinion has been split down party lines on who was responsible for the recent government shutdown, it's hard to deny that Democrats are now the ones standing in the way of an agreement. Trump's Saturday announcement showed that he is willing to concede key policies to Democrats, with his offer to extend DACA a partially important move, but if Democrats aren't able to meet him halfway, they now appear petty and childish, as a shutdown and the border crisis drag on. The fact that these Democrats in office didn't even want to listen to Trump's address in good faith before bashing his proposal does not put them in a good light, despite a media frenzy to make the president look like an extremist. It now appears to Democrats, like Nancy and Durbin, who are putting partisan politics ahead of the American people. Now this video is going to be a continuation of what I was talking about in my last video. So if you didn't see that one, I suggest going and watching that first and then coming here. So basically, I was right. The Democrats weren't going to take Trump up on his offer to compromise on the border wall or border wall funding at least, in order to get the DACA or amnesty, whatever, you know, whatever. They, they were not going to compromise for that. And I knew they weren't going to do it. You have the topmost Democrat right now, Nancy Paloma Bread, who has outright said, no, we're not going to accept Trump's deal. What do you think the rest of the Democrat and liberals and liberal celebrities are going to react to this? They're going to be mad. Because you have, again, liberal celebrities out there, liberal progressives and activists and such, who desperately want amnesty and DACA, but they're iffy about giving Trump his wall. And they have become so desperate that they have been coming out and urging the Democrats in office to just give in and give Trump his border wall and just get the shutdown over with. But now Trump has come out and said, hey, I'm going to give you some temporary amnesty and some DACA relief, and they still rejected it. So not only is Trump compromising and giving the Democrats the to reopen the government and give them amnesty and some DACA, or DACA relief and some amnesty, and they still don't want to budge because it's not about people. It's not, you know, the Democrats in office, you know, they don't care about the DACA recipients. They don't care about amnesty. They are just using that as a tool to get elected. They're grandstanding. And they've always been doing this. And now that they have a chance to give Trump what he wants in order to get what they want, you know, compromise, a trade-off, they reject it. They say, no, we're not going to take it because it's not about the people. It is simply about party politics. That's all it is. It's party politics. It's politics. 
And that is the fundamental core of why the Democrats are refusing Trump's deal, because they just want to stick it to Trump. They want to like give him like that good zinger right in his stomach. And they are putting the whims and wishes of their audience, their supporters on the back burner. The Democrats have diluted themselves into being obsessed with defeating Trump no matter what. Trump can come out and say, I'll give you everything, but just give me all of the wall. They would still reject it because it's not about the people. It's never been about the people. And, you know, us who are conservative, us who can see beyond the lies and manipulation, understand that the Democrats only use illegal immigrants as pawns. That's all they've ever used them for. And we're smart enough to understand this. But I think right now it's really starting to show its true colors because, like I said, the Democrats have a chance to get amnesty, some amnesty, temporary amnesty, and some relief for DACA. But they, you know, they don't want to do it. They don't want to budge. Why? This is something you have been fighting, uh, fighting against Trump for three years since he's been in office. You should jump at the chance to get some amnesty and some DACA relief, but they're not doing it. And the pressure, the backlash that, that you know, the Democrats are going to get is going to be massive because they're already feeling the pressure from liberal celebrities and such who were saying, you know, just give him the border wall funding. Who cares? You know, if Trump would have held out a little longer, he would have had just his wall funding and he didn't have to give them amnesty and DACA. But see, Trump is playing 4D chess right now. He is 10 steps ahead or 10 moves ahead of the Democrats. And the Democrats just can, you know, they can't even barely keep up with him. So he is running around circles around them and they can't keep up. And like I said in my previous video, that it doesn't matter if the Democrats take the deal or if they leave the deal, they are still losers in this situation. Because now the shutdown is completely going to be blamed on them. Because it's so obvious now. Trump has came out and made a public address and said that he would give the Democrats some amnesty and some DACA in exchange for his border wall, which is a reasonable thing to do. If you want something, you trade with somebody else. I'll give you this that you really want and you give me that in which what I really want. And that is how trade and compromise continues on. But the Democrats aren't doing that. They don't want to trade. So like I said before, they weren't going to take the deal. They're not going to take the deal because the Democrats, like I said in my previous video, they are determined to not give Trump his wall under any circumstance, which again is going to make them look like the bad ones, the petty ones, the, the childish ones. Because Trump has made a public appearance saying that he is willing to come to the table, that he is willing to negotiate, that he is willing to compromise with the Democrats. And now the Democrats are the ones who look like they are stomping their feet, kicking their feet, and throwing a tantrum. And that doesn't rub well for a lot of Americans. So now that Trump has publicly said that, you know, he's willing to negotiate, I'll give you this in, in, you know, exchange for this, and the Democrats are saying no to this, who do you think is going to be blamed for the shutdown? Who do you think is going to take fault for it? Because the Democrats could end it tomorrow. The Democrats could end it right now just by, by just going to the White House, agreeing, shaking hands, signing the deal, and boom, the government's reopened. You know, they get their DACA and amnesty. Trump gets his border wall funding. It would be as easy as that. But they are just so obsessed with not giving Trump his wall, that they would do anything imaginable to stop it because they know that if Trump gets his wall, that he's likely to do this again until he gets full funding for his wall. Because right now, you know, like I said in my last video, Trump is only asking for uh, $5.7 billion, which is about 230 miles worth of the wall. And he's going to build that in areas where the wall is very beaten down, there is no barrier at all, and in the areas that desperately need more security. Because I'd made a video yesterday about how there was an incident at the wall, and these immigrants got over because there was no wall there. There was no barrier stopping them. And that's how it's so easy for a lot of these immigrants to come into the country. And those are the areas that Trump is going to go to, to rebuild and such. But the Democrats cannot allow that to happen. Because they know if Trump gets his border wall funding, then slowly but surely, these illegal immigrants 
immigrants in the country are going to be start being deported faster and faster. Because again, like I said in my last video, what's the point of stopping, I mean, of throwing out water out of your boat when there is a hole in the in the boat? You, you would first want to plug the hole and then dump out the water. And that is basically what the wall does. The wall plugs the hole and then makes it easier and more efficient to throw out the water that's already in the boat. Hence, you know, the illegal immigrants will be deported and it's easier to keep them deported and out of the country when there is a physical barrier there. Right now, there are parts of the border, areas of the border, miles of the border even, that are unmanned, unsecured, and there's no barrier. Or if there is, it's a very weak, beaten down, old, rusted out fence that is there, which is easily, you know, pushed to the side or climbed over or maybe just doesn't even exist because the illegal immigrants who are coming just, you know, rip it to shreds. And then now there's literally like, you know, an area in which they can just freely walk through. That is the problem. And that is the problem that Trump wants to stop. But the, I think the Democrats know that if Trump gets his border wall, this whole illegal immigration shenanigans, a uh, house of cards will fall in on itself. And I think that is why they are so reluctant to giving Trump his border wall no matter what. Because, you know, DACA and amnesty, that's something that, that, you know, the Democrats have been fighting for so long now. They have been crying and whining about saying, you know, they're, you know, Trump is horrible for not doing it. And now they have a chance to get it, but they don't take it. You know, why do you think that is? It's because either they know that building the wall inevitably stops illegal immigration in its tracks or that they are so petty with Trump and, you know, that, you know, they just want to get back at him. That, you know, they don't care what form that takes. And I think, you know, it's a bit of both. You know, you know, just watch in a few days, you know, once the news of, you know, the Trump compromise starts taking, you know, its rounds in the media and people start hearing about it more, the news of the Democrats rejection of it is going to go, you know, it's going to spread like wildfire among progressives and liberals and such. And they're going to be mad because they were mad before and just saying, just give him his wall funding. Who cares? They were at that point on Friday. And now Trump comes out and offers them amnesty and DACA for the border wall funding? Come on now. These progressives and liberals are going to be outraged, furious at the Democrats who didn't take this proposal. You know, but the Democrats are snatching defeat from the jaws of victory right now. Just wait in a few days and see how bad the outrage is. But you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.